Hi everyone. Welcome to part 2 of my creating a new WordPress powered website using the Elementor page builder course. In this video we are going to start creating our new website. I will show you how to create the website header, footer and navigation. I will also give you a quick overview of the tools that we are going to use to achieve this. If you have not done so already, please watch part 1 first as this covers the installation and initial setup. I will assume that you are logged into your WordPress backend. Elementor is installed and you have your pages and menu created, as explained in part 1. For this lesson, you will need a sample logo. You can download it from the link provided in the description, if you would like to see exactly what I am seeing. So let's get started. We will start with the header, which will include the navigation menu. From the WordPress backend, navigate to Elementor, My Templates, then click Add New. The template type here will be Header. And then we'll just give it a name. I'll just call it Main Header. And Create Template. You will now see a library of ready-made header templates to give you some inspiration. Most of them will only be available if you have the Pro version of Elementor. We are going to create one from scratch, so you can just close the library window. We are now presented with a blank canvas. We are going to be using sections, columns and widgets to create our header. First, let's create a new section with a single column. Just to simplify sections and columns for you, think of sections as being the outer frame and columns being the inner frame where you add your content to. You can add multiple columns inside a section. Where it gets confusing for some is that you can also add an inner section widget inside a column. But let's take a step back and create our main section. You can see when you hover over the section, a blue border with some controls will appear. The plus sign is used to add another section above. The middle control with the six dots is where you select the section to open its properties on the left hand side. And the cross is to delete the section. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much info. I will go into much more detail later in this course. For now, let's give our section a background color. Select the section, then on the left, click on Style. Select Classic or this paintbrush icon. Click the color box, and then select your color. Let's add the search widget to the section. You can click on the nine dots to go back to the dashboard or click anywhere else. Then type search into the search widget box. Select search form widget and drag it into the section. You will notice that the search widget fills the entire area. Let's add another column and move our search widget to the right hand side. To do this, we'll hover our mouse over the section and then right click on the column and click add new column. Our new column is created. Now we can simply drag it to the left to swap the two columns around. Let's also make our search column a bit smaller. Move your mouse to the middle of the two columns and simply drag it to the right. Let's make it 30% of the total width. Now, let's add our logo to the left. You can use the built-in site logo widget or the image widget. I normally just use the image widget. Click to go back to the dashboard. You can also click anywhere in the open space which will take you back there. Search for image and drag the image widget into the left column. Don't worry about the size for now. On the left hand side in the image properties, click on the choose image section. Upload files, then select your logo. Insert media and your logo will appear at the top. Let's align the logo to the left and also change the height. So we can select 
the logo if you haven't selected it already by clicking the little pencil icon choose image size custom let's make the height 80 you can play around with your sizes of course and align it to the left we're making some nice progress notice how the search box is not in the middle of the section this is easy to fix simply select the section and set content position on the left to middle while we're on the section let's add a border to the bottom ensure that you have the section selected then click style border border type solid Click on the little chain icon to unlink the values, meaning that we are able to set each border width individually. And set the bottom border to 2. Change the color to a color of your choice. Right, now we are ready to move on to our navigation. One of the nice features of Elementor is that there are multiple ways to achieve the same thing. For example, to add a new section, we can either click the plus icon or we can simply drag the widget into position. From the dashboard, let's drag the navigation into place. Notice how the section is automatically created. To edit the nav menu and any other widget, simply hover over it and select the pencil icon in the top right corner. We can now play around with different styles. Under style, you can change the fonts, font color, space between, and much more. You can pause the video and style your menu as desired. Once you're happy with your menu style, Let's give the section a border or shadow at the bottom to separate it from the rest of the site. First click on the section, click style, border, then either add a border as shown earlier in the video or a box shadow. We are now done with our header. If you are happy with yours, click on publish or update if you've already published it. Then we want to add a condition so that the header shows up on all our pages. When you click add condition, it will default to include entire site. Then click publish. And that's our header done. The process for the footer is much the same. Go to the WordPress backend by clicking the three lines in the top left corner. Then click Exit to Dashboard. Navigate to Elementor, My Templates, Add New, select Footer as the type, give it a name and create template. Once again, you will be presented with some ready-made templates from the library. Close the library window so that we can create our footer from scratch. Our footer will consist of a footer menu, social media and copyright message. Let's create our first section and give it a background color. This will be for our copyright. You can change the background color to whatever you like. Click anywhere to go back to the dashboard and insert the text editor widget. You can search for it or just select it from the list and then drag it into the new section. Now you can change your text and format according to your preference. Just a pro tip, sometimes you will see additional space added when adding a new widget, like it did here. To get rid of the space, Select the column, then on the left click on advanced and enter zero in the first padding field. 
This simply removes the added padding from the column. Once you are done with your copyright section, add another section above with two columns and give it a background color of your choice. Let's also give this section a minimum height of 200 pixels by clicking on Layout, change the height to Min Height and make the minimum height 200 or whatever you'd like. Now let's insert our menu and social media widgets. Another way to insert a widget is to click the plus icon in the column where you would like to add the widget. Then select the widget from the left and drag it into place. Let's do the same with the social media icons. You can now style your two widgets according to taste. Finally, we can publish our footer and set the condition to be included on all our pages. And we're done! Our header and footer is complete and our canvas is starting to look like a website. In part 3, we will create a home page including a slider and will give you some more pro tips to make your website design journey with Elementor an awesome one. Until next time, cheers for now.